Good hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I just wanted to put something together to show you guys something that's a little bit about beauty and maybe something else that might be a little nerdy and thrifty because I kind of feel like that's a combination of what I like. So today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about how to change your old ass curling iron into a curling wand. Now a couple things before we get started. Obviously please unplug your device before touching it with anything, especially something metal. And uh, unplug it. And also I just have to let you know, um, I did it to this one because this is an older one, but if you're planning on ever breaking this and needing to return it somewhere or get it replaced, this will more than likely void your warranty. You can probably put it back together so they will never know, but I just don't want to give you the advice on doing this and then you have a problem with it and then you can't return it. So make sure it's something that is either out of the warranty or something that you really just don't care about. So it's pretty easy. The very first step is just to take off this clip. Now I know that depending on what kind of curling iron you have, it's going to be a little bit different, but the basic construction of these kind of inexpensive ones is all relatively similar. So all I do is I just kind of lift up on one of these little side pieces here. It kind of slides out of the screw and then you can take it off on the other side as well. And that's pretty much it. You just have to pop that one piece right off and then you can access the two screws that are holding the clip on. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your Phillips head screwdriver and just carefully, while holding the clip, because there is going to be a spring behind it, you don't want it to just shoot the whole thing off, grab onto that, hold the clip, insert your Phillips head into one of the screws and unscrew it. And once you've done that, flip it over, do the same to the other side, and then take your clip off. Now, usually the last little piece, depending on how complicated your curling iron is, the last little piece is gonna be some kind of spring loading thing that's on, um, on the actual barrel. So there should be just one more screw in there. You can just loosen that and pop the spring out, depending on what it looks like. There's gonna be some way for you to take this little spring loading clip out of there. So you can just unscrew that, pop that out, and I've actually reattached this one on mine um, because it's actually kind of holding this little barrel piece together. Um, so I have actually reinserted all of the screws on mine just to make sure that nothing pops off or falls apart. You do have to be a little bit careful though because sometimes you can get your hair tangled in these if you wind your hair a little bit too far down the barrel and that can be incredibly painful. So just be careful about that. All right guys, so that is literally it. That is how you update your old curling iron with a clip into a curling wand. If you're like me and you just can't really see the point of spending a hundred or so dollars on another device when you've already got a perfectly useful one, then this is for you. It's a simple little trick. It's super easy to do. Like I said, you only need one tool. That's it, just a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, I hope it works for you guys. I hope this was informative. And if you guys are struggling and you can't figure it out, you can actually tweet me photos of the kind of hair device that you're using. I keep saying device. I don't know why it sounds more dead. So you can actually tweet me photos of your curling iron and I will kind of try to help you through if you can't quite figure out how to take it apart. So that's it guys. Please be careful. If you've never worked with tools or with electronics before and you don't really know what you're doing, ask someone for help. It shouldn't be that difficult. It should take you less than five minutes honestly to do, but just don't be stupid about it. Please don't hurt yourself. All right guys, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time on this channel and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. I love you.